A cold and windy Saturday afternoon in Colfax with two teams trying to extend their season and get one step closer to a nine-man state championship. The home Colts get off on the wrong foot, turning the ball over on downs, giving the Tommies the opportunity to strike first. The Tommies take advantage, quarterback Kalen Schwab scoring two of the game's first three touchdowns to help the Tommies take a 12-8 lead over the Colts midway through the second quarter. The quarterback was getting to the outside, so we had to, we had to really pursue it to the outside, and we had guys flowing from the back because his cutbacks were what really killed us in the very beginning. Colts receiver Nathan Myers gives Richland their first lead at 14-12 with this reverse and the Colts defense keeps the Tommies out of the end zone on the final play of the first half to take the lead into halftime. In the second half, the Colts offense came alive, outscoring the Tommies 28-6 and the defense coming up with big play after big play to help the Colts take a 42-18 lead late in the game. However, Coach John Freeman knew the game was far from over. This is an explosive ball club we were playing, the uh, best team probably we played all year and with their speed they were able to match us pretty evenly and, and so it, I didn't relax until the game was over. The Tommies proved Freeman right, scoring on a Caden Schwab 52 yard reception and after recovering the onside kick, Connor Helmstead's receiving touchdown cuts the Colts lead to 10. No matter what happens we always keep level heads. So we're able to keep our minds on the game and we focus on the next play and not the one that happened last. And the coach focus proved to work as Jake Elin carries the ball into the end zone and the coach into the North Dakota nine-man semifinals. A 48-32 Richland win. In Colfax, Sam Jones, Valley News Live Sports.